Good morning, everyone. Well, at least it's uh, 8 a.m. for me, but it's Benicia, your community outreach specialist, and today I'm bringing you a video to talk about the Jeep unit that we have at the Pasco Sheriff's Office, which is actually not like internal, it's for our citizens. So stay tuned, I got Corporal Madden, you might remember him, and I have one of our volunteer members, Jenna, to give you some information. Let's go. Come on, friends. Come on. Come on, friends. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Look who I have. Everyone's so excited. We're gonna do this again, Arthur. We're gonna hide behind my head. <laughs> we're gonna, this is how we're gonna type. This is Jenna, who is a member of the Jeep unit. <laughs> There's Corporal Madden, who I wants to act like he's camera shy, but he's so not. Okay, Corporal Madden, I'm gonna get you out of this as quickly as possible. <laughs> what's your role for in the Jeep unit? And yeah. like, what's your... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, my name's Corporal Madden, mm -hmm. and I'm the Jeep unit coordinator for the Sheriff's oh, cool. Office. Uh, the Jeep unit is comprised of volunteers, um, both local to Pasco and surrounding uh, surrounding counties. Uh, but but it's built on uh, volunteers mm -hmm. and the, their willingness to help out uh, the citizens of Pasco County. Uh, one of which is Jenna, Jenna and she's Jenna. gonna share some great information with you. Ooh. Jenna. So it's not, it's not anyone. If you wanna drive your Jeep and spend that gas money, you can be a part of the Jeep unit. That's true. Okay. Boom, all right. Now I'm just gonna turn that, say, say goodbye to our, say, say bye. You're welcome, I got you out so quick. All right, <laughs> Jenna, tell us some more information. I guess start off with, first of all, how do they join? So to join the Jeep unit, there's an application on the Pasco Sheriff's Office website. So you go online and you print it out, fill it out, bring it to the Pasco Sheriff's Office off a of little road. At My the office. Center, and then they'll call you back a few weeks later to have your fingerprints done. Okay. And so you're still cleared and everything. You still have to go through the whole process if you want to volunteer. Yeah. Okay. okay. So after you do your fingerprints, they'll take a picture for your badge. And then after that, they'll call you back. There's a badge. And they'll call you back <laughs> and talk to you some more about the Jeep unit. Make sure you understand what we're going to do and make sure that you actually want to do it and mm -hmm. you're going to be a good fit with the unit. Okay. So what exactly do you guys do? I know it's quite a lot, but what do you do besides be awesome in parades and show off your dope vehicles? <laughs> well, we do search and rescue. That's our main function. But okay. whenever we're not busy during ser doing search and rescues, we do a lot of community events. We like to do touch of trucks within the community. They're so cute. That's where we open up the uh, top and doors on the Jeeps and let the kids or other members of the community go check them out because mm -hmm. a lot of them haven't been able to exactly. have that opportunity. Other than that, we do a lot of parades with the mm -hmm. sheriff's office. I'll, any kind of community event. If the sheriff's office needs help running one of their events, we go assist. Okay. And we do a training every month to keep our members involved. And we're always constantly training mm -hmm. to keep ourselves ready and prepared for when we do have those call outs and search and rescues. What, what are the trainings? I feel like I've seen like past footage of the trainings, but it's like you guys are going up hills, you're going into ditches to try to like figure out how to pull yourself out or if someone else gets stuck, how you can utilize the Jeeps to help with that? Am I wrong? No, you're right. Okay. We do, we do that. We also try to vary our trainings. We do mm -hmm. training in first aid, CPR, oh, then we do cool. okay. vehicle recovery, which is when you get the Jeep stuck mm -hmm. and try and pull them out mm -hmm. and uh, search and rescue techniques. And we do a lot of playing in the woods. I so. love, I, I've heard, I've heard. That's why I have not taken a trip out there. I don't mind the woods. Don't mind. Got on the right boots. You're good. That's awesome. Okay. So how long have you been a member? I've been a member over a year and a half. Love it. I wanted to join right when they started the Jeep unit, mm -hmm. but I wasn't old enough yet. I had to wait okay. till my 18th birthday. Okay, so you have to be 18. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. You have to be 18. That's really cool. I'm trying to think. What else could the people want to know about? Guys, I think it goes without saying, but you should probably have a Jeep if you want to be a part of the Jeep unit. If you don't have a Jeep, I feel like there are plenty of other volunteer options at the agency for you. Boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah? What else is there? Kinda, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's the gist of it. Boom. And in a quick, short nutshell, I think that this would be considered a nutshell. That's the Jeep unit. 
I will put the link below in the description for all of you if you are looking to volunteer or if you have questions about it or you just think it's cool or want to see more. I mean, let me know if you'd like me to go out to a training with them. Um, what I do know, and this is probably not important for any of you, but our Corporal Madden, when he sends out the, is it a weekly newsletter or monthly newsletter? I don't know, but whenever he makes his post, he likes to put a dad joke at the top because he thinks he's hilarious. And we all know how I feel about that. It's the little things. <laughs> I technically won that joke off, but Jenna, thank you for spending time with our viewers and I hope you have fun. I did. Yeah. Boom. Like this video, leave a comment if you have some questions below, subscribe if you haven't already, but I'll see you guys next time.